Hey everybody, I'm Ryan and welcome to 113 Cycles. Today's video is gonna be painting the walls and reassembling the corner that we worked on in the last video. There'll be a link here so you can click on that to follow that. It'll also be in the description too. That way you kind of be caught up with where we are with it. So there's a lot of time lapse in this one. I just felt like it was the best way to do this, kind of make it a little bit shorter video. Um, but I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's do it. got everything prepped for paint. We got everything taped off that we needed. Uh, just use some cheap notebook paper, um, just as a little bit extra security because when I painted the other side, when I primered it, I hit the window a couple times and uh, it's quick and easy just to do that. So we've got stuff taped off. I need to put the plastic down to protect the floor and our bottom line, but short of that, we're ready to get everything ready for paint and put some paint on the walls. So let's do that. Well, we're one coat in. Boy, looking through the camera, you can see a lot of lighter spots on there. I don't see those as much just looking at it. Uh, but again, it's just single coat. I got over zealous a little bit and decided to uh, add some paint up there, just kind of filling out the paint tray. I had a little bit of paint left. Man, you can kind of see here, this idea with this was just to make a line, but you can really see the difference. Primer, no primer. Look at the texture on there. Boy, that, that kills really seals this wood. And that was the other one, so it's just crazy. It's a little hard to see with the light up there, but man, that grain really, really pops out. If you want the grain, don't primer it. If you don't want the grain, primer it. I mean, you can still see the, the, the lines in the wood, but man, it is a dramatic difference between the two, two up there. So anyways, we're gonna wait a couple hours and then we will come back. Step back, get you a good view here. Uh, let it dry and we'll do it one more time. See how shiny it is because it's wet, but I'm using the phone to look for light spots. I was able to see quite a bit on the other video. I think that middle spot through here is just wet, but I have a little bit of paint left, maybe down in here. So I'm gonna go through and hit those spots real quick. And that's just ridges up there reflecting the light. That's actually not just like that, except there's actually ridges in the in there. Maybe up in that corner. I did hit that again. But like I said, I have a little bit of paint left, probably one roller's worth. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna turn out at all. I went ahead and added a coat on there early in this little process this time so that it would kind of get tacky and it could add a little bit more to it. So I don't know if that's gonna work with no primer or not, but that'll be a good experiment to find out. So of course we've got the trim up here I didn't roll over much, but I did roll over some, and uh, it doesn't look much different. So uh, it's possible that we might get away with that. Maybe we'll leave that without primer. You can really see the grain in that one.
here we are. I did window trim today. I don't have that much baseboard. Everything I used trim-wise was leftover stuff from other projects. Uh, so there, you can see it's all gonna be black anyways. But I did trim out this window the best I could, not a carpenter. Uh, it will get painted later, but not too worried about that. You can see the walls all done. We got everything back up, rearranged some license plates, put some different pictures up and everything. But we have paint over here. And when I get some more primer, we'll, uh, maybe we'll prime up there, maybe we won't, I don't know. If it's covered, who cares? Um, so, but there we are. I rolled the table back, put the welders back and everything. But uh, yeah, man, it came out great. It's now Sunday, I don't even know what day I started on it. Uh, we got studs up above, we got plywood. That plywood was up before, but remember there was no studs behind there. So now it's actually got studs up, that has studs. So man, this is a long way. Learned a lot doing that corner for future stuff. So yeah, pretty excited. All right, everybody, appreciate you watching. Uh, hope you learned something on this one or learned how I did it. Again, this is how I do it, not how to do it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put the blinds back up, but uh, short of that, uh, we're pretty much done. You know, got to put the welders and stuff back. But other than that, oh, man, what a project. I'm actually looking forward to doing more. So if you got any questions about what we did, let me know in the comments down below. You know, remember to like the video if, uh, if it helped you out at all. And uh, subscribe and help the channel out. Thank you, guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.